This is Matthew at Maja, and today I will be talking about the novel Island of a Thousand Mirrors by Naomi Munawira. If there is one thing that should never be forgotten, it would be family. Family and traditions are one of the key aspects that shapes a human's life. However, as the times change, so does family. In her novel, Island of a Thousand Mirrors, Naomi Munawira shows readers the effects of war and change it brings to two different families. Through the characters of Island of a Thousand Mirrors, Naomi Munawira shows us that while in some ways we are a continuation of our ancestors, more often than not, family traditions are reborn with every generation, and the biggest factor that causes these shifts in traditions are the differences in the time and the environment in which each family member grows up in. First of all, while many immigrant parents want their children to stay and follow their native culture, many times the children tend to leave behind their native culture to embrace the culture of a new country. This graph shows the percentage of interracial married couples out of all married couples in the U.S. from 1967 to 2015. This graph also shows the percentage of newly wed interracial couples from 1967 to 2015. This research was started in 1967, right after the Loving versus Virginia Supreme Court case, which resulted with the outlawing of laws that banned interracial marriage. This graph supports the fact that many children of immigrants born in the U.S., or even children who immigrated to the U.S. at a young age, tend to lean towards embracing the American culture, which supports interracial marriage. During the 1960s, when segregation and racism was much more prevalent and dangerous, only 3% of newlyweds were intermarried. However, as of 2015, that number has over quintupled, sitting at 17%. This shows how many more people in the U.S., immigrants included, are marrying people of ethnicities and cultures different from their own. In Island of a Thousand Mirrors, Lanka decides to pursue a romantic relationship with an African-American man, even though she knew her parents would not approve. This shows the differences in the culture of the Sri Lankan people compared to the culture of the American people, and how Lanka has chosen to leave behind her old culture to embrace her new one in the U.S. Secondly, immigrants face culture shock when moving to a new country that has a different culture from their own home country. This picture depicts the flow of culture shock, which is what happens when one moves to another country or new environment with different practices and different cultures from the ones they're used to. These phases of culture shock are evident in Yasudara and Lanka as they move to the U.S. When they first arrived in the U.S., they are fascinated by the U.S. as a whole and explore the streets on their own, which corresponds with the honeymoon phase. When they entered grade school, however, they faced the rejection phase and the regression phase as they learned that their culture was not widely accepted and was different from the culture of the U.S. as other students pointed out things they did as not right. Their recovery phase is seen in their later years of grade school and in college where they have learned to embrace the American cultures and traditions such as interracial marriage. Finally, they face the reverse culture shock when they go back to Sri Lanka and see how things have changed and how they're not used to the life of Sri Lanka anymore. Finally, while it is hard to observe on a small scale, on a large scale, it can easily be seen that history is cyclical. This graph shows the history of the Dow Jones Index, which is an index to show how much is traded between companies on a daily basis in the stock market. As it shows on the graph, from the year 1999 to the year 2017, the market had crashed twice and peaked three times. The gap between the first peak and the first crash was three years, while the gap between the second peak and the second crash was two years. The gap between the first two peaks is 8 years, and after that, the next peak happened 10 years later. The gap between the two crashes is 7 years. These numbers are roughly identical, which shows how on a large scale, in this case a national level, history tends to repeat itself. However, while this does show that history is cyclical and repeats itself, I believe that this does not apply to families on a small scale. With families, rather than visualizing a cycle that continually repeats the same thing over and over again, it can be seen as a tree that continues to grow and branch out. The core essence of a family is the bond between two spouses, meaning that two families will never ever be completely identical. The different building blocks of each family is what allows each family to create its own familial traditions and its own familial culture.